All right, good morning. This is January, I mean January. This is November 23rd. This is November the 23rd, 2023. This is Thanksgiving Day. We are out here with the deer. And um uh, Yes, it is Thanksgiving Day. We had an uh, we had an early Thanksgiving with the family uh, to try to make people's schedules work, and it was very nice. And uh, but we're by ourselves today, Debbie and I here with no no company. All right, so I'm going to uh, say this morning that um i think that's a pretty good angle i've got this camera rigged up this phone a different way but it's looking like it's working pretty well um a thanksgiving verse from the bible that i would like to read and this is from first thessalonians 5:18 and this is what it says. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything give thanks. It didn't really say in everything be thankful. It says give thanks. So there may be something going on that you're not particularly happy about. You may be ill. Some of your family may be struggling somehow. But it says to give thanks anyway. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Well, let's see if we can figure that out. And the reason I picked this, obviously, is give thanks. This is Thanksgiving Day. Yeah. Why are we going to give thanks in everything? Now, let's unpack that word, everything. I call that word the biggest word in the universe. Because there is nothing bigger than everything. Everything is all-inclusive. Give thanks in everything. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Now you really probably wouldn't have to say this if it wasn't something that was you're not glad about happening to you. So this is obviously something that you're not liking. Now I'm going to try to explain why we would do this. Now, there's another verse that says, All things work together for good for those who love Christ and are called according to his purpose. Now, this is obviously talking about believers and people that are called. And I guess that they know they're called. that are called according to his purpose. All right, let's say who it is that's, that's in charge. All right, this is God Almighty that's in charge of this whole thing. God is in charge of everything. God is omnipotent. This is our vision of God now. He knows everything. He is in charge of everything. He knows everybody. He knows everybody's thoughts. He knows the end from the beginning. He is omnipotent. Omnipotent. That means he knows what's going to happen with each thing. Even though it looks like it's going to be bad, if you're called according to his purpose, remember it says all things 
<laughs> that's a cow bumping the the door out there. I don't know if I like that cow bumping my door. Why don't you open up the door? Get that cow off this truck. Don't let him push you. you close the door on your leg now. Yeah, I'm sitting here with a bunch of corn. Or We're having cow problems here. All right, so. So you have, it, the, the way to look at this is that, hey, I don't like this happening right now. I don't like this situation that a member of my family is struggling or I'm struggling or my wife is struggling or, for, for example, and also our country is struggling right now. We're on the verge of losing our country to some evil people who have usurped the government and are running it for bills above the devil. I think that we're going to get it back, though. I hope. But if we don't get it back, we still got to give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. That means something good is going to come from it. For everybody? No. For those that are called for the purposes of God. The called ones. The sheep and the lost sheep that belong to God. Now everything is as it should be. Therefore, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. Now, everything is everything, both good and bad. Now, the pilgrims that came over here from Europe had just gone through a horrendous winter, a miserable winter, they lost about one half of their loved ones. And yet, the Spirit of God led them to have a day of thanksgiving. So they definitely had a lot to complain about. And yet, the Spirit of God led them to found this day that we're celebrating today. A day of thanksgiving. And I think we mostly think about thanksgiving as thanking God for the, all the good stuff. But we have to be disciplined and thank God for the bad also. Because we know that God knows the end from the beginning and the beginning from the end. And that all things work together for good for those that love God and are called for His purposes. Now, that's my Thanksgiving Day um, message out there. I hope it brought you some thoughtfulness and uh, help you think of it a little bit different if you're having some kind of struggles. Now, I'll tell you another advantage of of uh, giving thanks even in the face of adversity it's got two benefits one of them is mental health mental relaxation if you got some kind of problem that you're struggling with Instead of sitting there biting your fingernails about it, just say, I give thanks to you, God, because I know that all things work together for good for those that love God. And I know that you're going to take this situation, and I know that you're going to handle it the way that an omnipotent God does handle things, ways that I don't know about. And we know, God, that, there is, that this is just the dimension that we're in now. 
So we're going to close our eyes and think about the things that you can do and that you will do to work for our good, even though we can't see it in the present situation that we're facing right now. Yes, and we know you're God. And your ways are higher than our ways. That is an understatement. We are nothing but created beings. And compared to God, there is no comparison. Okay, that's the mental benefit. You're going to be able to calm down a little bit. You're not going to be on edge mentally. You're not going to be angry. You're not going to lash out at family members. You're going to be more patient with your family. You're going to be patient with your children, your young children who have not yet learned how to be civilized. It'll come. What you need to show them is a calm, patient, loving demeanor. And that's how you married folks out there near need to behave too. Not jumping on one another. Accusing one another. Making snide remarks at one another. Calm. Relaxed. Now that's the mental benefits. And then, of course, you got your benefits of your happy. Your, your family's going to be running better. But the, another one is that your physical health is going to be better. Because you're going to be able to just calm down a little bit. Now, let's do it this way. God, all things work together for good. I give thanks to you. For everything this day, this Thanksgiving day. And I'm not going to stop it this day. I'm going to be doing it tomorrow and the next day. Now I'm going to start with the tip of my head and relax. Let it relax. Your head, your scalp. Now move down. God's in control. God's got you. All the way down to your eyeballs. Down to your mouth. Think about your neck now. Let it relax. God's got that. He's, he's got your neck in his hands. He's got, he's got control. He's looking after you. Down to your shoulders. Out down your arms. All the way to the tips of your fingers. Relaxed. Now your shoulders. Down to your chest. Relax. Think about that chest area. Let the tension go out of it. Down to your stomach. Let the tension go down. Let it go. Think about that area. Focus on that area in your mind. God's got that area taken care of. Now down through your hips. Down, down, your thighs, your knees. Think about your knees. In your mind, look at that. Let your knees down, your legs, your shins, down to your ankles. See those ankles relaxing? Feel those ankles relaxing? Down through your feet to the very tips of your toes. Even your toenails are going to relax. Now envision your entire body. You see how relaxed it is? That is... Now give it to God. Give it all to Him. I forgot one member. Think about that tongue in your head. You better relax that too. You know, that's the most dangerous member of the body right there. Relax it. Close your mouth. Tongue is in your mouth, resting gently against the roof of your mouth. Breathing in and out through your nose, if you can, if you don't have some kind of cold. 
relaxing now your inside of your body, your lungs, your intestines, your brain, your arteries and your veins and your muscles. All things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purposes. All right, this is my Thanksgiving message. I have no idea where that came from. Well, that's not right. I, I, I think it came from the Holy Spirit. Animals are out there relaxed. Sun is beautiful today. Those little fellas right there are going to butt heads a little bit. All right, this is uh, Gardener Israel, and I'm wishing you a happy Thanksgiving and a happy day every day afterwards. Signing off.